Uh, my interest in multiple sclerosis and diet is uh, to determine whether a uh, low-fat diet is beneficial in controlling the disease. I suspect that diet and multiple sclerosis may be connected uh, in part because of the work that Dr. Roy Swank did uh, decades ago and that uh, suggested that patients who followed a uh, low-fat diet, and specifically the Swank low-fat diet, uh, did better long-term. They became less, stable, uh, less disabled than those that went off of his diet and uh, lived longer. Uh, Dr. Swank uh, had started a group of uh, people with uh, relapsing uh, multiple sclerosis between 1948 and 1952 uh, on a uh, low-fat diet. Uh, while he was at the Montreal Neurological Institute. He followed those patients uh, yearly for uh, 20 years and published the uh, results of how those patients did over a 20-year span. And remarkably, those who adhered to the diet, which at that point was about 80% uh, of them, uh, did uh, much better in terms of uh, uh, how, uh, how long they uh, survived. And there was a suggestion that they became uh, less disabled than those who went off the diet. He did another 34-year follow-up where he tracked down what happened to uh, the vast majority of those patients and uh, found that, again, that those that had adhered to the diet for up to 34 years um, lived uh, much longer and were less likely to have become significantly disabled from the disease. Uh, Swank diet uh, is very low in saturated fat, so it's no more than 10 to 15 grams a day of saturated fat. And, uh, and there's no oral reduction in all fats. So I think it's limited to 20 to 30 grams of total fat. Uh, so as a clinical uh, uh, sci scientist and researcher, uh, I've been uh, very interested in uh, studying uh, the role of a diet in uh, controlling uh, MS. And as a consequence, uh, I've been involved with a uh, research project to uh, assess the effects of a vegan diet on uh, multi multiple sclerosis disease activity. Uh, this is a pilot study uh, that um, we're very excited to see the, ultimately the results. Um, and patients are, who are participating in it uh, have relapsing MS and are randomized either to go on the, uh, a vegan diet that they learned uh, through the McDougall program uh, or uh, to, to follow their, their standard diet uh, for a year, and we're looking at a variety of, of things uh, between those two groups over a year's time. The primary thing we're going to be looking at is uh, the MRI scans, whether there are changes uh, in the MRI scan o over time that dif differentiate between the two groups, but also we're going to be looking at quality of life, uh, fatigue, and a number of other things that uh, may improve with the diet. Um, well, I would tell you, uh, first of all, in terms of diet, that you should be on a low-fat diet. If you're uh, overweight, which uh, many people are, that you specifically uh, work on uh, getting your weight into a normalized uh, range. Um, and I, I could counsel them specifically that um, following Dr. Swank's diet, uh, which uh, he's uh, published on, is a good diet. Um, the uh, McDougal program is an excellent uh, diet. Uh, and there are several other uh, diets that follow the general principles of a diet that's uh, uh, low in saturated fats. I believe it be, is beneficial for the disease. I think the emphasis has to be on that. At this point, to, for me, it's a belief, but it's a belief based on the observation that patients that do those uh, things uh, do do better over the long term than those that continue to follow a standard American diet. Sometimes patients ask me whether other neurologists recommend uh, following a diet, or they've been told by other neurologists that it doesn't matter what sort of diet they follow. Um, I don't understand that. Uh, it makes no sense to me that um, all neurologists wouldn't recommend following a healthy, low-fat diet um, just for general health, even if they don't believe it has any specific effects on MS. If people want to know more about the research study, uh, particularly people with MS that might qualify for participating, we're still recruiting patients, and they can call, uh, call us at the phone number that appears on the screen, and we'd be happy to uh, screen them for the uh, study. Um, I'd also like to express my uh, gratitude to um, 
all the people that support uh, and the, uh, the project through gifts that have been made uh, to the McDougall Foundation. Uh, this is a uh, very important study and uh, would not have been possible without that support.